Okay, so we still have this fireplace. And there's still all the ashes down in there from where uh, they were burning actual wood in this gas fireplace. Which you can apparently do. Which you can apparently do. So. This is a piece that John fixed. And here's a look up the chimney. Should you be interested in such a thing. But what we're doing today is we're going to try to... We got this kitty cat, Grammy, who keeps, who keeps wanting to escape up the chimney. But um, we're going to paint this fireplace. You trying to leave us, Grammy? We love you. Stacy is uh, color coding her books over there. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, and Ryan asked if there's anything he could do for me. And I said, yeah, can you color code these books? And he just laughed in my face. <laughs> Not by subject, by color. So we're going to color code this fireplace. And it's going to look much better. So we have here, we went to Sherwin-Williams. And we got some Lex Lexon XP. Sounds like a computer program. And uh, this is, I think, Hyacinth White. Should be there So Yeah, White Hyacinth. So the first order of business is to open this can of paint. Got a handy-dandy screwdriver here. This is what Hyacinth White looks like in the can. Now I'm going to need things like a paintbrush. Stacy has that, so give us one second. So the blind bet that I am, it was on the chair right beside me. So we're going to start painting. We're just going to start flinging paint up here. And we're going to make this disgusting brown a pretty white. No offense if you like brown. It's just this chocolatey brown is everywhere. It's like fudgesicle brown. Yeah, it's, it's not the shade that we would have picked, obviously. So, let's see what we can do here. Got a black plastic bag down here, trash bag for a top cloth, because we don't want to get paint, obviously, on the nice brick down here. Next, one of my coming up videos will be cleaning out this fireplace because it is pretty gross. That should be exciting. Yeah. Alright, so let's do it. Stay out of there, stay out of there. Back, 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 back. Okay, I'm trying to escape up the chimney. No, 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 is no. Is he really no. trying to escape up the chimney? That was Jordan. Alright, y'all. <laughs> Cats are insane, y'all. Alright, so we're going to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not painted anything in a long, long time. So let's see what we got here. It was thick. Thick paint. Very thick. First of all, come on, Percival. Percival? Nope, oh, come on, Percy. Back, back, back. The cats. We have a number of cats that are rescues. They were some kittens that we found that somebody just dumped off. They were starving, like emaciated. Look at this. And they're also little complete troublemakers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a painter by any stretch of the imagination, but I think I can handle this. We can keep the cats out of the fireplace. Can you see there's lots of... It's very textured, being brick like it is. But I think this is going to really add a little cheer to the room, and I think it already actually does. 
I'm just trying to get the paint up there. If you're a professional painter, now might be the time to go to another video somewhere. If you're professional anything, what are you doing on our channel? <laughs> it's just going to make you mad. Like... <laughs> So you can see the difference between the two, how it looks now and how it's going to look. Be a better match for the mantelpiece. But it's going to really reflect the light in here a lot better. And the rest of these walls are going to be teal. We've got a we got a, a plan for a teal color for all of the library walls. Yeah, like a peacock blue, like a mid-century modern. Yeah. So for anybody who's watching this, who's saying right now at the computer screen, phone screen, whatever, man, you do not know how to paint. You are absolutely right. So feel free to engage with us in the comments. We love that. Yeah. So, so far, this video might be about as fun as watching paint dry. So we're going to, uh, we're going to pause and, uh, come back to when we have some progress made. Sounds good. Personal. So this of course isn't going to be perfect, but one thing I want to do a little bit better than the last people who painted in here was uh, using painter's tape. And that will give us a nice crisp edge. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly where the edge should go, but I figure that's going to be close enough. It's amazing how much just a little brightness will counteract a lot of darkness. This room is transformed. Just just from this one thing. Yeah, it helps a lot. So we decided to do the top of the mantle. Because why the heck not? All right, so we have finished painting the fireplace. Uh, it is a, um, whatever color white that was, hyacinth white, white hyacinth. And um, is it professional? No. Is it neat? Also no. But it's a darn sight cheerier than it was before. We're happy with it. So let's get some close-ups here. And Percy, who does not learn okay so <laughs> imagine a peter mckinnon video and imagine some uh some filter in there okay enough of that so this is what it looks like Obviously, we still have some painter's tape there. No painter's tape over here, but we'll figure it out. So, I think for the most part. Thanks for watching. It's pretty good. We will see you here. You can see where the bring me to wall. Some of, see some of this stuff right here. The last people didn't paint it right. So when we paint the, the teal in here, we'll bring this on up and it'll match up neater. Because uh, obviously the brick is not 
exactly even, so we'll figure that out at that point. But you can't really see it from the front of the fireplace. Uh, but I think it's a lot nicer. And it definitely reflects a lot more light than that heinous brown did. And if you're interested in my book color coding project, this is how it's going. It's like yellows, you can see the blues back there, and the reds, and then I'm still, it's still a work in progress. So let me know if you, what you think about that. Brian hates the idea, because he's a snob. I don't hate the idea, <laughs> but I have just never heard of color coding books before. I've heard of, you know, subject coding books before, but I'm, I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it's a thing that'll take off, and it's, uh, it's definitely cute. So we will see you right here, or possibly on the corner there's a house I want to film but anyway we'll see you somewhere <laughs>